and what you'd like to speak about. My name is Jeff Poole, and I'm with Bennett Post Portal. <clears throat> I'm here to ask the council to not, uh, at least at this meeting, extend the solid waste contract at this time. That, 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 that's on the agenda, Jeff. Okay. Okay. So, you, you speak to it at that time. Okay. Um, I have a proposition, if I may. No, you can know. speak to it at that time. If, if it concerns that, it's on the agenda, so that's what we will be doing at that time. Okay. And you'll have time to speak it at that time. Okay. Okay. Anybody else that's not on the agenda? Moving on. Uh, requests for communication. Uh, we had some volunteers. Uh, that we'd like to give certificates of appreciation to. And it's to the Malacca Trails for the wonderful job they have done and to the Boy Scout uh, Eagle Project. And Dave is going to present. And on behalf of the council and mayor, I thank all those that have put many hours into these projects. So, Dave, the floor is yours. You get to present them. You want them all before you here? I would call them one up at a time. Yeah, I know. And, and then uh, they can stay up here for a picture? Yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, I'll get them all one at a time here and call them all. Um, but first, I just want to thank them. It's amazing. What, I've been on the trail for a lot of years. We train there for cross country. We spent a lot of hours out there. And the difference in the last three years is amazing. If you haven't been out there, you need to go out there. And typically for us in cross country, we are, when we're practicing, there's no way out there for us in the amazing year. This year, there was always people out there. There's bikers from out of town, there's people from the lack of walking. Um, it's been amazing. It's been a big boost, boost for our community. It's just gonna get better. Um, well, I'll read you guys off on the time you caught up. Corey Anderson. Oh, who's here? Who is it? Hard to tell. Tucker Anderson. Is that her? Can they hear us out there? Corey Anderson, Tucker Anderson. Tucker? The name is Dan. Kurt Bowerly? Kurt Bowerly? Jordan DeBoer? Jordan DeBoer? Okay. Josh Dehart? Josh Dehart? Sawyer D. Hart. Randy Fermi. Morning. Rob Heike. Rob Heike. Is that here? Okay. You probably don't say it. Brian. Brian Heights. Brian Heights. Oh, that one. Brian Pearson. <laughs> and Tyler Pearson. Thank you. And Zach Pearson. Yeah. Randy Ryman. Randy Ryman. Zach, last one is Brian Swanson. That's everybody. Grab a picture. Oh, we're just moving forward. Okay, that's it. Got it? Super. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Appreciate all your work. Good job. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Sorry, guys. Thank you. Oh, wait. This is what's going to go on the trail. Thank you, guys. Thank you.
The other uh, request of communications is that, and I have not heard back from her, was to deal with the therapy clinic and the pharmacy closing. Mary Edwards from the uh, uh, Fairview uh, is setting up with me some type of meeting or in the future. So it's just an announcement, and I will let Tammy know and put it on the Facebook. I mean, on the city page, uh, when that will happen. Um, moving on to ordinances and resolutions. Ordinance number 469, the continuation of the uh, local emergency. Uh, I'll entertain a motion to suspend with the first reading. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Corey, how do you vote? Aye. North? Aye. Dave? Aye. Myself? Yes. Uh, passing of ordinance number 469, continuation of the local emergency, second and final reading. I'll entertain a motion. So okay. Any discussion on that? Norris, how do you vote? Aye. Dave? Aye. Corey? Aye. Myself? Aye. Uh, resolution 2061, to summarize the publication of the ordinance that we just passed, uh, ordinance number 469, I'll entertain a motion. So move. Second. Any discussion on that? Uh, Dave, how do you vote? Aye. Corey? Aye. North? Aye. Myself? Yes. Motion carried. Uh, okay. ordinance. Uh, okay. yes. Yeah, let's see all. 735 regular court. In reference to Fairview. Um, what? I've been here for, my family's been here 45 years. It's always been two boundaries in this town. Yeah. My grandparents were here, my folks were here, and there were always been two pharmacies in this town. Now, why would they shut down a pharmacy in the middle of the pandemic? They clinically understood, they clinically understood the terms, that's all they had. But what would the sense of it make to shut down a pharmacy? Okay, I have that that make no sense to me at all. Okay, it doesn't make sense to a lot of people. And you see here. And that, that's why we want them to come up here. <laughs> Tell us what's going on and what they're thinking. Yeah. Right now. Uh, my concern is I'm a, well, I do, I'm a senior citizen. My wife, most of my life, I must have a senior citizen. I got a mother who's 90 that lives in town. Uh, a lot of senior citizens don't want to change pharmacy. They don't want to go down to Princeton. Uh, and they don't want to drive. Fairly was delivered to people in town. Okay. I know that for fact, but the mother has done it a couple times. And, 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 and they can. And it really irritates me that they decide to do that in the middle of this, this uh, disaster, more or less. Um, I'm sorry, I can't explain what I feel right no, now. No, I, 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 I don't.